years, from 1st November 66 when we were carved out, up to Feb 2005 when we took over the reins of power, Haryana had a total investment of 40,000 crores. In last six years, we've had investment of 42,000 crores. We have investment worth 100,000 crores in pipeline. Center for Monitoring of Indian Economy says that Haryana is number one in the country in terms of realization on ground of committed investments, which is 81 percent. Percent of the state's gross state domestic product now comes from uh, sector other than agriculture. Are both industry, which are also uh, making Haryana a dream of making Haryana a corporate. Even industries which are set up by the states like to have their head offices in Haryana. And Haryana in many, in many ways from Gurgaon to Manesa, from Faridab to Palwal and right up to Sonipat from Delhi border, we are emerging as the corporate hub of the country. So trading, services, industry as also being a corporate hub. So it's a bouquet of many things. I think uh, that is uh, where our strength lies. Acquired land in three phases. In two phases there were no issue. As the prices rose, the quest for getting higher compensation also arose. They can't really pay crores of rupees which a commercial developer can do. So we have to keep price at a level where uh, aspiration of the farmer is met while we are also able to invite and attract the best of the institutions. We encourage all land developers to buy at market price land from the farmer. N net result is that the farmer gains the developer gains and the competition sort of stabilizes the prices also. And then we proceed to grant any change of land uses. Isolated cases apart, and I'm sure both the judgment that you speak about, if you find out both have been stayed by the Supreme Court. So they are now sub -judice. But uh, there is no question of any nexus. Yes, we want everybody to be a participative partner and there's nothing wrong with it.